Hey guys, before we begin, I just want to let you know I launched a Patreon. Check it out in the link below, as well as right here. Chocolate chip cookies. Been done, tried it, failed. So let's try it with M&M's. We'll construct the batter in our handy dandy stand mixer with the paddle attachment. First thing we all do, crack two eggs into our bowl. Beat them on medium-high. Set the speed to low. Let's add one cup of brown sugar. Eh, too clumpy. Gotta open up the stand mixer. Let's also add half a cup of white sugar. Let's also drizzle in two sticks of unsalted melted butter. You might have to increase the speed on this one. All right, let's turn the mixer down, back down to low. Let's add half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's also add two and a half cups of bread flour. Why bread flour? Because it's high in gluten and it's gonna give us a nice chewy texture. Let, all right, turn off the mixer and scrape down the sides of the bowl. And the piece de la resistance. 12 ounces of M&M's by weight. Huh. Anyone just find it weird that I'm using an empirical measuring system in a French accent? Crank the speed to high. And slowly lift up the mixer. Turn it off once it's fully left. Cover the bowl in saran wrap and refrigerate it for at least an hour. Creeper. Oh man. Okay, so after an hour, set the oven to 375. Enjoying another mass shootingless week? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's been an hour. So get them half aluminum baking sheets, line them with parchment paper, and have a little lip of parchment coming off the end. I'll show you why later. So using a disher, like two tablespoons in size, scoop up a bowl of our cookie batter, place it onto our parchment. I'm gonna leave about an inch of space for each cookie. Salmonella poisoning be Dan. I'm having this leftover cookie dough. Stick our cookies in the middle of our 375 degree oven. And let them cook for 15 minutes. Creeper. Oh man. And after 15 minutes, using the long slip apartment paper, slide our cookies onto the cooling rack. Now, I already brought this up in my chocolate chip cookie video, but I think it bears repeating. If you want nice, chewy cookies, you have gotta take them out a bit earlier than you think. They may be done in the oven, but they'll be overdone by the time they cool down. Also, please use a cooling rack. If you let them cool down on the still hot tray, they're going to overcook. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So after 10 to 20 minutes, all the cookies should cool down and they're ready to eat. And give me credit, I made it through the entire episode without making one M&M the wrapper reference. Oh god damn! This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, consider becoming a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And support me on Patreon. Yeah, this was the final cookie to be formed. 
I can tell because there's barely any M&Ms in here. 